Today we're going to be looking at people who got roasted on the internet and trust me some of these people got annihilated. Comparing intercourse to assignments. Condoms are free at campus but printing isn't so intercourse is more important than our assignments. Condoms are free because intercourse can cause serious health issues. If it is carelessly done it can kill you as well. Lack of education won't kill you it'll just make you compare intercourse to printing. Okay so I kind of agree with them but then I also don't because lack of education can kill you. There's people out there who would put a fork in a toaster and I'm pretty sure if that happens it would kill you. No this doesn't work. Lack of education is far more dangerous. In fact, if you didn't have the intelligence to know about STDs, you wouldn't even use condom. Almost all suffering in the world comes back from a lack of knowledge. It also brought up a very valid point. Why on earth does an education establishment charge you for something you need to complete their assignments? Great. I feel like a lack of both of them is not good. If you lack education, it's not good. If you lack sex education, it's also not good. But then the flip side, do people actually print stuff out? Look, I'm not in education anymore if you can't tell. However, with me, if I ever had to do stuff, I would most likely just do it online. Type out in a Word document and then send it to my teacher. And then also thinking about it now, there were some of my exams that were actually done in computers. Maybe I'm just really old and have been in school for a long time, but I didn't even know people use printers anymore. Emotionally stable much. The idea that people need emotional support to deal with political news is one that simply doesn't exist in Republican politics. Your people went insane for a year because a trans woman drank beer. I mean, they didn't lie, did they? Everyone's a snowflake. I'm sick and tired of hearing people going on about snowflakes. The left called the right snowflakes, the right called left snowflakes. Everyone's a snowflake. Everyone has something to whinge about. But you can't deny what they said, you know, Republicans did whinge about a transgender woman drinking beer. Like it's literally beer. Why were they so upset about that? And then yet again if we read their initial statement, the idea that people need emotional support to deal with political news is one that simply doesn't exist in Republican politics. That's probably because the political ideas don't affect you. But if this way people are in the Middle East you have to flee because of homophobic laws, I'm pretty sure they're gonna need support. I feel like that tweet right there is such a western tweet. These people haven't really had their lives severely affected by laws. But the minute they do I can guarantee they'll need support. From the same group of people who didn't like seeing the green Eminem and running Shoes. That was in Fox News, wasn't it? Side rant. That is literally a comedy show. I'm not joking. I've seen clips online where they were taking all the M&Ms and literally roasting them. Like, I'm so sorry if I'm gonna watch the news, I wanna hear the news. I don't wanna see people talking about bloody M&Ms. I think they were talking about one M&M that wasn't as sexy anymore. But keep in mind, an M&M is literally like a little treat you eat. It's a dessert. This guy's celebrating the Ten Commandments in schools. To be clear, separation of church and state. Public schools should not be teaching church. If people want religious education, there are schools for that. But public school is not it. If I want my kids to learn the commandments, I'll take them to Sunday school. Nowhere in the US Constitution does it say separation of country, church and state. It says that there's freedom of religion, not freedom from religion. The Ten Commandments are within the tenets of the Constitution. The First Commandment says, I am the Lord your God. You shall have no gods before me. Except the Constitution says Congress shall pass no laws respecting the establishment of religion. A public schools should not be able to shove down my children's throats Christian indoctrination. I feel like a lot of these people don't actually know what the rules of the Constitution are. I mean, I don't even know them, but I know for a fact that he's incorrect. And then yet again, whenever it comes to religion, are they okay with their child learning about other religions, for example, Islam? Or do they also want that ban from school? They just want the one religion in there. I suggest all teachers put up the Ten Commandments up next to every other religious text they can find. Mormon, Jewish, Muslim, Buddha, Satanism, and Pastafarianism. I don't even know what that last one is, but apparently it's a religion. And that's what I'm talking about. Whenever it comes to religion, I think there's an issue of teaching religion. The issue is that they only want you to teach one religion, which is Christianity. There is a class called RE, Religious Education for a Reason. It's about other religions. It's not just about Christianity. And then I can guarantee you that person wants a Ten Commandments in school would probably have an issue if Muslims were saying the exact same thing. You know, we want Islam in our school. They would have a meltdown and accuse Muslims of doing the exact same thing that they want to do. They would have a complete and utter meltdown. The whole thing is killer, but the last line is so savage, I actually gasped when I read it. She looks like a drag queen herself, that's why she can't stand news looking better. I hate it when people say this. Which drag queens are you watching? Our makeup isn't that busted, our hair isn't as fried. We don't look like we spent 50 years standing in the sun to create the perfect handbag lever. We hide our masculine shoulders. Our breasts aren't wonky because they're silicone, and very few of us are keeping people of being that much of a hateful idiot. We're also way better at hiding facial hair. That idiot is sweeping crumbs off every willy she sucks. In my head I have a picture of the type of person they were describing. And if I am correct it's an American politician. Someone painted their nails with blood today. I know they went for the kill and they got the kill. And then yet again whenever I hear people talking about women who look like drag queens, they just don't look like drag queens. A lot of times it's got to do with racism and misogyny. Especially black women. If you seen what people said about Michelle Obama, they're basically calling her a man just because she's not a super feminine woman. Then the pull at Nuno reverse card, these women never look like women. Women. The other women who accuse other women of being like men also look like men. They're just talking about themselves. It's like they're looking in a mirror. Marjorie Taylor Green, I'm assuming. Yeah, so mm. yet again, notice how a lot of the anti-trans women don't look that feminine. Like I can guarantee you, whenever it comes to a transphobic person, if you showed them a picture of MTG, they would probably turn around and say she's woken a man. That's just the way they are. Like, I don't think these people actually know what an actual woman looks like. They seem to think they all look like anime characters, and the minute they're not 100 percent feminine, they think that they're secretly a man. Well, that didn't go as she expected. I think 
left us our evil period evil. Their subhuman trash and has no place in general society. I will not go along to get along with these people. And as you can see by the looks of it, that is her in a mugshot. Oh god, let's read what it says. They allegedly included at least one video of Julie engaged in multiple intercourse acts with the couple's great Dane, the world's biggest dog breed. Okay, wait a minute. So this woman's going on about how leftists are evil, yet she's getting with dogs. I know a lot of left-wing people. I don't know any of them who get with dogs. I will never understand why if you have skeletons like this in your closet, why do you have a public profile at all? Change your name and shut up. I feel like a lot of people could benefit from that. But there is a good old saying that people who accuse other people of doing heinous crimes are secretly admitting to doing it themselves. And I think that's a good example. It's about protecting to save their twisted egos. I'm not a monster for effing a dog. It's those damn liberals that want universal health care, better wages and job protection. Clean air, a functional immigration system, improved education, reduced gun violence, etc. Those sick idiots must be pedophiles. She's entitled to believe whatever she wants. All I know is that other left-wing people don't do what she does with dogs. She took the word dog lover to a whole new level. Husband who throws trash, complains about wife picking up the trash, is promptly put in his place. Okay, so I seen this a year ago or so on Twitter and trust me, this caused a big commotion online. A flight attendant at United just made my 22-week pregnant wife traveling with a five-year-old and a two-year-old, getting her hands and knees to pick up the popcorn mess made by my youngest daughter. Are you kidding me? And in that photo, you can obviously see the two children and the popcorn on the floor. But unsurprisingly, this tweet didn't have the reaction he was expecting. I suppose he was too busy taking the photo to pick up his own kid's popcorn, so he had to watch his 22-week pregnant wife do it. That's exactly what the other people were saying. He turned around there like, why are you taking pictures of it and why did you make your wife do it? Your wife is 22 weeks pregnant, you made her pick up popcorn on her hands and knees. You know, he doesn't sound like a good husband, does he? It sounds like him refusing to stop or pick up after his kids is what made his pregnant wife pick up the mess. Exactly, like it's a fact that he literally mentioned us that, oh yeah, my wife done it. She's also 22 weeks pregnant. Like, you'd think you being a man, you'd do that. And yet again, they started a whole other discussion about picking up after your kids. If you're out in public and your kid makes a mess, do you pick up after them? I don't have kids, so I can't really relate to it, but I probably would do it. You know, if I make a mess in public, I clean up after myself, or at least it abets my ability. I'm not like him where I make a pregnant woman clean it up. Matt knows the truth. No one will know you've had an abortion unless you tell them, as long as you don't use medications vaginally that could be seen in a pelvic exam. Pass it on, tell a friend. That's actually false. Hold my beer, folks. Captain Matt is telling a gynecologist how it works. Of course, Matt's a doctor. Don't forget that. You know, Matt doesn't just spend all of his time in Twitter just complaining and owning the liberals. Of course he knows better than you. He read an article about it. It's almost like Matt didn't read Doctor or couldn't decipher what Aubigin meant. And they say he died at the scene. There's a lot of people like Matt in this world. You could literally turn around and say, yeah, don't do that or you're going to get burned. And just to own you, he'll do it and then end up getting burned and then gaslight you for it. When it comes to people like him, the best thing to do is ignore them. Don't argue with them. There's nobody in the planet that speaks with as much conviction and authority than a complete effing idiot. A smart person understands that they can be wrong at times. Morons don't have the intelligence to have that self-awareness. I mean, yet again, there is a good old saying that you can argue with a smart person, but you can't argue with a dumb person. And I think that right there is a prime example. No one thinks more about gay people than homophobes. Pride Month is so defeated. I love you. You proposed to your girlfriend and your first thought was gay. People weird flex be you. Yeah, it's like a bit weird, isn't it? You're literally getting in one knee to propose to your wife and you're thinking about gay people. It's a call coming from inside the house. Pride Month is defeated because a random straight couple got engaged. Check out the ego in this guy. The thing is, in his head, he probably did think he completely ruined Pride Pride Month. I see it all the time in Twitter with Rage Beat accounts. Basically, they'll post a picture of a family and be like, why did the LGBT community hate this? And it's like, we don't. Like, that's a family. What's wrong with that? I genuinely believe that they think they know. It's they think we think a certain way, but we just don't. Like, they seem to think we hate kids and families and people reproducing. Why would we hate that? And that right there is a prime example. You know, how is you getting engaged to your wife ruining Pride Month? Literally, nobody cares. Some people believe the requirement for their own happiness is that it must spite others. To me, it just is attention seeking. And yet again, I feel like he's done that for outrage. I feel like he knows people people are gonna get pissed off by that, so that's why he done it. But then yet again, no one actually cares. Like, just get engaged to your wife and stop thinking about gay people. What is it with gay pride? I'm so sick of seeing this everywhere. Why is it necessary to shove this down everyone's throat and subscribe? What are you on about? Are you okay? Do you smell toast? Yeah, I think this person might be having a stroke. There is nothing in this entire video that in any manner is gay. I'm a nerdy middle-aged straight white dude talking about how you measure the diameter of wire and cable, and you're having a homoerotic essential crisis. Really? Am I just that overpoweringly attractive to you that you can't fight these feelings anymore and have to rage quit the channel while screaming about gay and how necessary it is to have something shoved on your throat. Because while I'm not gay, I've got a lot of family, friends and viewers who are every imaginable fabulous fruity flavour or sparkly awesome you can imagine. And I'm sure that one of them would be happy to help you fulfil your fantasy if you ask nicely. It's okay, no judgment or kink shame in here. Come out of the closet, it's too damn crowded in there anyways. I love you just the way you are, good luck. So yeah, apparently nothing gay was going on in that video but that person still brought up people being gay. It just doesn't make any sense, does it? How long till they're calling the end of the story of no was art gay because God sent the rainbow. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if some people like him. Now, I know it's not all Christians, it's a very loud minority. However, there's
there's still a growing number out there of them. They look at anything that's got rainbow colors and just call it gay. When did the rainbow ever mean something gay? Like, I'm actually scared of going out and seeing like a rainbow up in the sky and like some person accusing the devil of doing it. I saw this video today and the comment drove a lot of interaction in the video. The only remotely rainbow things were the little lightning bolts in his shirt. So it literally was lightning bolts. It was a rainbow in his shirt. And that guy had a meltdown and unsubscribed about it. Like seriously, get a life. There's nothing more satisfying than being prettier than your ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend. The fact that he's not just going for looks anymore means you taught him a valuable lesson. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with that person by the sounds of it. He now knows that looks don't mean everything in a relationship. And you're the person who taught him that. Well, anyways, guys, for leave that video there. That's some people who got roasted in social media. If you want to see me look at more people who got absolutely annihilated, let me know if you will. Press the subscribe button. See you all tomorrow for another video.